Now that we have your Google site created, we need to edit the layout. So there's two ways that we can change a site's layout. One is by editing the site layout. The second is by editing page layout. When we edit site layout, we're changing the way every page on the site looks. When we edit page layout, we're obviously just changing the layout on a particular page. So we're gonna go through editing the site layout first, and then we're gonna take a look at changing the page layout. To change the site layout, we need to go up here to the top right corner to more. Notice that we have four buttons here. The first one is the edit page button. The second allows us to add a new page. The third is more and the fourth is share. Under more, we have many options, one of which is edit site layout. Now notice at this point, uh, Google is labeling this as new. It used to be that you edited the site layout by going into manage site. We're gonna do it the new way. So I'm gonna click edit site layout. Now, if you're following along, you can just take a minute and just watch me do this. You don't have to actually go through and click on the different um, options that I'm going to, uh, but I do need to make sure that we're familiar with those. So when you click edit site layout, you have several options that pop up along the top. These options may vary depending on which theme you have chosen. So for each button, we can click on it to enable or make it active or disable it or make it no longer active. For example, if I click on header, the header portion of our Google site goes away. So I do want that to be active, so I'm gonna click it again to enable it. Next, there are two ways we can do our navigation. We can do horizontal navigation, which goes across the page like this, or we could do vertical navigation, which goes up and down. Now, this theme by default has a vertical navigation set up, and that's what we're gonna use. I just wanna make sure that you understand that you can do um, your horizontal navigation here. Now, also, I just want to make sure that when you do the horizontal navigation or even with the site header, you get options when you hover over those headers. So, for example, right now I'm hovered over edit site header, so I'm going to click that, and I get options to configure the site header. If I were a business and I wanted to put in a logo, I would do that uh, here by choosing a file and uploading it to be used in this top header. Uh, if you are an artist and you really get good at this, then you may want to at some point go and change your top header uh, to customize further your digital portfolio. So I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel. We're gonna leave it as is for right now. And then like I was saying, the horizontal navigation, I can also come in here and click. And now I have options to configure that navigation. We're gonna worry more about navigation in a later video, so I'm not gonna spend too much time here, but I just want to make sure that you understand that's an option. I'm gonna click cancel. The sidebar, actually let me go back and disable my horizontal navigation so that that tab went away and it did. The sidebar is obviously um, this section over here. Uh, for this layout, it is on the left hand side. If I choose sidebar, it disables it, so now it's gone away. So if you are doing horizontal navigation, you may want to have the sidebar disabled so that you only had navigation across the top. For ours, however, we're gonna leave that sidebar enabled. The next option is custom footer. So headers at the top, footer at the bottom, much like the, our head is at the top of our bodies and our feet are at the bottom. So custom footer allows us to come in here and change what we see at the bottom of the site. For example, if we were a business, we, we may want to put copyright in the year and our business name to indicate that we as a business have the copyright to that particular web design, okay? I'm gonna choose cancel. We don't need a footer for what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna click custom footer to make sure that we go back to the way the theme was originally set up. So site width, we have the theme default or we can customize it. Uh, if you customize it, you can do it two ways. Pixel width, okay, pixels are the unit of measurement that we use um, in a digital, um, the digital world when we're representing graphics and websites. Percent is a percent of the screen. If you leave it uh, at 100%, obviously it would fill up the entire screen. 50% would fill up half, for example. So we're gonna leave ours as is. So we have our header, we have our sidebar, and we don't have horizontal navigation and we don't have a custom footer. So that's how to edit the site layout. I'm gonna choose close. 
The next thing we want to do is edit just the page layout. So for our Google site, we're going to set up a home page that has two columns of information about ourselves. This is going to be a place where we kind of introduce the world to what this portfolio is about. And that is, you know, it's about us. OK, what is it that we stand for? What are our interests, our likes, our dislikes? And the home page is going to be the way that we um, introduce ourselves um, so that audience members can see who we are before going into the pages and seeing more about our work. For the page layout, I have these options up here at the top. Remember, edit page and new page. We want to edit the page. So instead of going to more edit site layout, we're not going to do that. We're just going to do edit page to change the page layout. So I have four options now across the top, insert, format, table, and layout. Obviously, we're going to choose layout. By default, this theme has a one column simple layout. OK, so if you see here, there's a check mark beside the one column symbol. We can also do two or three columns. And then we also have options for one, two and three columns with additional like header footer sections. So if I choose this one, you're going to see that I now have this extra section at the top and at the bottom. And then in the middle, I have three columns, a left, middle and right column. If you have a lot of information going on a web page, this would be an ideal page layout. We're not going to need this for the digital or e-portfolio, so I'm going to change the layout to two column symbol. All right, so now we have changed both um, the we've changed the page layout and we looked at how to change the site layout. We are now ready to move on, so I'm going to click save. And even though it doesn't show that I have two columns, when I go to put information in, uh, it will by um, default go into the two different columns. Thanks for watching.